eyeglasses eyeglasses he was called charlie because he was very little one day he would be big and be called charles like his dad my dad's chair charlie used to get lost in his bed sheets and always got to school late but one morning he got up early he ate breakfast as fast as hungry ogre and left home at top speed that day charlie was the first to arrive at school there he waited for ines when he saw her he stood up on tiptoes to make himself seem taller and puffed out his chest to make himself seem broader broader but she passed by without even seeing him oh poor charlie charlie accompanied ines to class he wanted to be nearby to make sure that she didn't run into any trouble she walked along convinced that it was the wind opening the doors in her path Charlie only had one wish that Inez would notice him and he tried to make it happen with all his might. He did this, that, and the other, everything he could think of, but nothing worked. One day, Inez came into class jumping up and down with excitement. I'm getting glasses today, she sang. When he heard this, Charlie became so excited that his feet, his eyes, and even his ears began to dance. Great! Now she'll see me, he said to himself. The next morning, he stood up taller than ever and filled himself so full of air that his head looked like a red balloon that was about to burst. Ines came towards him with her new glasses and went right past as always in class ines and her glasses were the new big thing seeing this charlie knew that all he needed to get everyone's attention including ines was a pair of glasses when he got home he searched through boxes drawers and chests he found the rose-tinted glasses that his mom used on gray days. It was boring seeing the world on, in only one color. He grabbed his grandma's Coke bottle glasses, but he quickly took them off again because they were a bit scary. He borrowed his big brother's sunglasses. He looked like a spy trying to pass by unnoticed, exactly the opposite of what he wanted. He came across the 3D glasses. His dad watched films with. Wearing them, he stumbled around, missing hugs and kisses, and he didn't like that at all. The x-ray glasses were the most fun. With this, you can see people naked and forget your embarrassment, said his granddad. Charlie put them on. He came across the postman's backside and couldn't stop laughing. That day, he didn't go to school. Clearly, Charlie needed real glasses in his size. He went back and forth, trying this and that, and he found some eyeglasses just for him. On the first day, he wore his new glasses. Charlie got himself ready with care. He put on some of his dad's cologne to smell like an adult even though he was little. Then he waited, as always. His body was a bundle of nerves that wouldn't stop jumping around. When Ines appeared, he tiptoed so high that he actually felt tall. She's seen me! She's seen me! He kept telling himself. Then he heard, Hi, Charlie! He cleaned his lenses opened his eyes wide and saw everything very clearly. It was Helen, Ines' best friend. Hi, Charlie replied, still looking at her and falling in step with her. He accompanied her to the classroom. In the end, 
it was clear that all he really needed were eyeglasses. And that's the end of the story, Eyeglasses.